in my entire life, there was only one time, before I was 33 years of age, there was only one time I was angry. Um, this life or last life? This life. This life. Well, I should say one time that I thought I was angry. Is that affecting the recording? Black? Yep, sure. And what I've had to deal with since, I realise that actually I've been quite, a, quite angry, right, dealing with lots of emotions. And I've had lots of anger with God, I've had lots of anger with my soulmate, I've had lots of anger with uh, stuff about myself, in fact most of my anger has been directed at myself. And and so I've had to work through these emotions. In the process of working through these emotions, I've found some techniques that worked for me. And uh, so what I'd like to do for a moment is share with you some of these techniques that work for me. The first thing that worked for me was to make an anger list. Now, what I included on the anger list is the things now, let me just define anger for you. Mild annoyance, mild frustration, mild irritation, annoyance, frustration, irritation, aggravation, disgruntled, displeased, exasperated, impatient, enraged, furious, incensed, outraged, indignant, irate, livid, fuming, belligerent. That's all the things I put into anger. Uh, it's actually on your handouts that I've emailed, so any you'll be getting those uh, as a list. Now, what I do is I say anything that even makes me mildly annoyed. Like what happened with this issue that I was dealing with when I was staying with James and Paula in Stratbroke Island was. Um, I started having a discussion with them about the world's money system. You remember that discussion? Yep. And I started getting really into it, like, you know, the world's money system this, and the world's money system that, and we don't need money at all, and off I went on my soapbox, right? So, any soapbox issue <laughs> is definitely anger, right? Driving. So you let yourself feel any soapbox issue. And so, and Mary says to me, gee, you're quite angry about that, aren't you? Right? It was Mary's comment to me. Yeah, I am. And, and as I said, yes, I am, I said, oh, I need to get into this. So I went straight away and started allowing myself to get into it. And lots of things come up for me in this processing of this emotion. And so when I, if I made an anger list about that, the anger, the anger would have been the world's monetary system. So that's what I'd write on the list. I'm angry about the world's monetary system. Why am I angry about it? It's inequitable. It's unjust. It's unloving. It's okay why you've got money. If you've got none, it's not very good. You can't, you have to buy your own food. Who here doesn't buy all of their, at least some of their food? At least some of your food. You don't buy any of your food. You know? So, in other words, you just get it given to you. No, nobody here does that. Well, I think you should just get given food. Uh, I think you should just get given um, a house to live in. I think you should just get given your clothes. Why shouldn't you? They're, they're essentials, aren't they? Can you live without food? You know, I was in an airport in the USA. A bottle of water, just a pint and a half or whatever it was, $5.20 US in this airport. Mm. A bottle of water, you know how much a can of Coke was? 80 cents US. Mm. Right. Same place, same airport. Right. I've got to pay for water? Like, I'm 70% water and I've got to pay for it? Like, I've got to pay somebody to get some water in my system? You've got to be joking. Like, these are essentials to life, are they not? And I've got to pay for them. What, you know, so, see, can you see my soapbox? <laughs> can you feel my soapbox? Yes. Okay. 
anger in that, see? So what I was doing is allow myself to connect to all of this. And it started getting really personal. The reason why was that the whole reason why I died in the first century was because of the monetary system. So whatever anybody has told you about why I died in the first century, it's actually about the money. That's why I died. What happened was, the things I was saying to people by just doing what we're doing today, just talking to groups of people, the things that I was saying to people were causing people to question their entire existence, which included questioning their entire religion and questioning why they had to pay for sacrifices and so forth and why they had to pay taxes and all of these other things were all questioned. Now, if you were a person who got 30-something tonnes of gold every year because of people doing these things, what do you think you would feel about the person who thinks that, that, that wanted to stop doing it? Right, quite upset, wouldn't you? Right, and this is exactly what happened to me. I died for that reason. I died because of the world's monetary system at the time. So there was a lot of emotions there for me about that. Right? Just, just my, my wife, my child, and all the suffering they experienced after my death was all the result of the world's monetary system. It was a result of how things were in the world at the time with regard to money, in the Jewish system of things. So do you think I was pretty upset about it? And this emotion, before then, I never knew why I got on this soapbox thing about the world's monetary system. But it got personal. It got very personal for me. And so I went through lots of emotion about it while, while we were together. And uh, um, as the guys know, I didn't even go out to dinner one night. I was crying uh, all that night. And, uh, and so I basically stayed in that emotion as long as it took me to stay in it. And there was lots of facets to it, you know, about how it affected my wife's life, my daughter's life, everything. And how my life was cut short. All the beautiful things that I wanted to accomplish with my life, all the things I wanted to accomplish in telling the truth, was all just cut short because of money. So do you think I've got some issues about money? I'm sure I have. Right. So I made an anger list. The world's monetary system's always been on that anger list, by the way. The next step is to ask myself why I'm so angry about it. So, why should I get angry about that? This gets back to that question about justifiable anger, isn't it? Like, a lot of times what I'm doing with my life is I'll be, I'll be justifying why I should be angry about something. The world's monetary system is totally unjust. It's created by a few people for the total suppression of your life. Right? So why should I get angry about it? Yeah, I'm angry about how much your life has been suppressed, your entire life, by this world money system. Now I'm justifying my anger. You got me? Now I'm actually saying, I've got a good reason to be angry. From God's perspective, do I have a good reason to be angry? No. No, okay. So I need to at least admit that this is how I feel. I feel like I've got a good reason to be angry because this is so unjust. We need The feeling in me was, in particular then, we need to destroy this, is the feeling. And remember what I've said, any time we focus on destruction, definitely a lot of anger there. So why should I get angry? I feel that the world's monetary system is so terrible that I want to destroy it. What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? It really got down for me that I was just afraid of dying. Because of the world's money system. Because there's a lot of things I'm teaching you, right? About soul condition, soul attraction, all these kind of things. That if you follow up on it, your life will change and things will change around you. And one of the things that's going to change around you is the politics around you. Do you think you're going to need someone to govern you? 
When you're in 100% of love, do you think that you will need anyone to govern you? No. Never. You will not need a single government. So what do you think that's going to do for the people who are addicted to power? <laughs> Don't you think they're going to get angry with you? Probably. Right? So why am I afraid? I'm afraid of dying because of their anger with me. Right? And that's what it got down to with me. I was just afraid of feeling that I was just going to die. So the interesting thing in my life when I look back on it now is every time I've had to do with money-based issues, I would get terrified. Even when I had a fairly, you know, four businesses going in my life and everything, and I started dealing with money issues, I started getting terrified. I mean terrified, like, I would not do my accounts for long periods on end. For, because I just felt afraid of the money. The, I didn't fit, when I did my accounts, it was really easy, you know, tap, 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 bang, done in a few days, and it was all done for a whole year. But I would procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate, rather than dealing with it. What was I afraid of? This issue of feeling that there's something about my life being threatened in dealing with this issue. You know, it's amazing how little tiny things, you know, affect your personal life and how it affects you inside of yourself. What else can you do? Write down the emotion that you may be afraid to feel. So what am I afraid of? What's the emotion? The emotion in me is emotions of loss. Loss of my family, loss of my life, loss of all of my goals and ideas, like my, my desires, that they won't be fulfilled, loss of all those things. And I needed to feel all of that, which I did a lot of doing. What would you do if you were at one with God? Do you think you'd care about the world's money system? It wouldn't bother you in the least. It wouldn't affect you in the least. You would have no angry emotions about it. You would have no sad emotions about it. You would have no justifiable anger about it. You just won't feel those emotions anymore. And ironically, you, won't, you will live your life and you will use the money if you need to use it or not use it, whatever it may be, but it won't bother you. 